All right, guys, here is the breakdown of how we are going to tackle the Angular application. We are going to begin by generating a new Angular application using Angular CLI. In the next video, we will add the various components and configure routes to navigate to them. We will be adding a navigation bar in the UI. After that, we will build the registration UI and the service to interact with the backend API. Similarly, we will also build the login UI and the service to interact with the backend API. After that, we are going to build the UI for both regular and special events fetching the data from the backend. At this point, any user will be able to view both types of events, regular and special. So we will add authentication to make sure users are logged in before being able to view the special events. Finally, some code cleanup with UI logic to conditionally render login and logout buttons. All right, that's pretty much it. Let's complete step one in this video, generating a new Angular application using the CLI. So go back to Visual Studio Code and open the integrated terminal. In the Angular auth folder, run the command ng new ng app dash dash routing. The command takes a few minutes to execute and creates a folder called ng app which contains all the files needed to start a simple Angular application. To run this application, navigate inside the ng app folder, so cd ng app, and run the command ng serve dash o. The dash o option opens the application in a browser right away. And there you go, we have our Angular application up and running with just two commands. Now that we have a basic application ready, in the next video, let's add the different components, configure the routes, and add a navigation bar to navigate to the different routes using mouse clicks.